Hey guys and welcome to today's update video. So today I feel like we have such an exciting update and in my personal opinion the most exciting for this year so far. So you might be wondering why I'm riding my starter horse and there's a good reason to that because Star Sable has released brand new story quests. So I figured I would take out my starter horse and honestly my outfit is not really that appropriate but that is about the change because Farah, the person that sells druid clothing and tack is back in town here in Veildale so let's go ahead and take a look at her shop right now. In case you're wondering where exactly her shop is located, it's right next to Elizabeth's house right over here. And now Farah has several very pretty outfits so we have this more burgundy one and then we got a new one today which is more like a yellowish color. They also have a green set which is in my home stable but before we're going to take that one out I want to take a look at these items over here. So here we have the gold and gray Gruid tunic. So these all have max stats when it comes to racing but still look at that price 149 star coins is kind of really expensive. I feel like you can kind of justify it because of the stats and also because they're Druid clothing but I still think it's so so much. The gloves are 29 which honestly I'm kind of fine with. The hat is 58. The boots, which honestly, this is like the most ridiculous price out of all of them, 125 star coins. And lastly, the pants, 87. They haven't released any tack when it comes to this new outfit, but they might do that the next time they release story quests. And I have to say, I actually really love this golden outfit, but it's just the price that's holding me back a little bit and there's no matching tack. So for that reason, I am not getting anything today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call for pickup, take out my army green druid clothing, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, here we are back at it again with our druid outfit. So in order to get started with these story quests, we first need to go to Fripp's chamber I'm pretty sure or just the secret stone circle in general so let's go ahead and take a look right over there. Here we are at the secret stone circle and there you have the three new updated soul rider horses but before we're going to take a closer look at them I want to state that to be able to do this quest you must have completed the quest where you speak to the druids in Fripp's lair after saving concord so that was just a little fyi and now let's take a closer look at the horses right over here we have tin can and this horse is absolutely stunning i love this horse so so much like the model is just so adorable and the mane and tail are super detailed then we have starshine which has got to be my favorite i love this horse so so much the model is very sporty if i can say that and again the mane and tail super detailed and especially the mane i like a lot and then last but not least, we have Meteor, which reminds me a lot of a North Swedish horse, to be honest. And look at that down here. That is adorable. These three new horse models for the Soul Riders are so, so stunning. And I'm so proud of Star Sable. I've got to say that. So yeah, those are the three new Soul Rider horses. Now let's go ahead to Fripp's chamber and take a look at the actual Soul Riders. There we have them, you guys. Oh my god, Linda, Lisa. Oh, this is adorable. So right over here we have Linda, who reminds me a lot of a friend I have in real life, and honestly her style is so cute. Then we have Lisa, who is definitely a very quote-unquote cool kid, if I can say that. She has rips in her jeans, red hair, and I like her style. And then last but not least, we have Alex, who reminds me a lot of those girls that were quote-unquote gamer girls like five years ago and they'd post pictures with this type of a style on their Facebook and stuff and it just reminds me a lot of that. Her style is not exactly my style but I guess I kind of like it as well. We have gone through the soul riders and their horses so now let's get into the quests for real you guys. I'm so excited. It is almost time to assemble at the portal in Guardian's Dale. Check in with Ryan on at the mountain paddock outside of Veildale to see if she knows where Evergrey is. Okay so we're gonna talk to Evergrey again. Okay, nice. But we have Concord. What are we waiting for? We need the new keystone. Isabella, you and Evergrey were seeing to that, weren't you? And I nod because we were indeed. Then Isabella and Evergrey will bring the keystone to Guardian's Dale. Where is my brother anyway? I haven't seen him since the business at the circus. Perhaps he's with Ryan on in Concord at the mountain paddock. Come on, Isabella, let's find out. Meet you there. Okay, so we have to go to Veildale, back to Veildale, and take a look where Ryan on is. So let's go ahead and do that. I am not planning on reading all conversation in this video because it's gonna get really lengthy and I do not want that because I want this all to be very short and, you know, clear for you guys as well. So I'm gonna try my best and I hope you respect that. If you guys do want me to do a more lengthy video for next time when we might eventually save Anne, then let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to do that. And with a 
more lengthy video, I obviously mean reading all conversation. Hi Ryan on, what do you have for us today? Isabella, Alex, I'm glad you're here. Our little guardian of the sun circle is being a major pain in the butt. I've encountered spirited fools before, but not like this. Maybe you should try calming Concord down, Isabella. Okay, Concord, please calm down. It's no big deal. Come on. Please just calm down. Oh, we're hugging Concord. How cute is that? Save some snuggles for the rest of us. Oh, she's wearing the new tack as well. We're gonna take a look at that as well because that's so, so good. Okay, so what's new with Concord is this saddle, if you can call it that. This quote-unquote saddle is basically one big girth around the horse with stirrups, of course, and this little thing over here to hold on to. I think Star Sable gave an explanation on Instagram why they did this, so I'm gonna take a look if that's correct. Tin Can's new tack features something unique, a bareback girth. This allows Alex to essentially ride bareback while still using stirrups to keep her balance. That is so cool. Okay, I'm sorry for being distracted, but I just had to take a closer look at that. Now let's continue with the story quests, okay? Evergrey? He's not at the secret stone circle. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him since Concord's rescue. We've got to look for Evergrey in Silverglade. Well, that's a whole new location for Evergrey. Maybe he's still in Silverglade. I heard that he and the clockmaker seem to hit it off. Evergrey and Bunny? You don't think they're... I'm a wild whisperer. Horses I get. People, who knows what's going on with those two? Isabella, you can take things from here, right? I'm gonna stay here and help Concord out of trouble. Well, of course I can, so let's go ahead to Silverglade and search for Evergrey. I'm wondering what Evergrey is doing in Silverglade with Bonnie, though. Anyways, here we are, and we're gonna talk to him and see what he has to say. Not now, Isabella. Whatever it is you need, I cannot possibly be as important as what's going on here. Actually, I could use your assistance. Drop everything you're doing. I need a potato. A potato? Um, well, okay, we're gonna ask Marley about getting a potato for Evergrey to use in his test. What test is he even talking about? I recognize the irony, Isabella. Sending you in search of produce when a friend's life is in balance. On a surface, blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna read this because, like, this is probably about the experiment that has nothing to do with saving Anne. So let's go to Marley's, get a potato, and continue on with these quests. Okay, so I'm trying to fetch the potato, but Sonia wants to take it from me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna race her and win this race. There we go. I won. So now I can have the potato, please. Place the potato on a device then follow up with Evergrey So I think we're just going to have to do this experiment and then he might help us So I'm gonna skip this and I'll be right back I would put the potato thingy in this video if it wouldn't be extremely Trippy to look at and I don't want to risk people having some attack or something So if you want to do these quests yourself be aware and look away when this potato thing is happening because it might cause you Some you know damage. I'm sorry Isabella. It seems that we must postpone the rest mission. The risk is too great. And then we have to talk to Derek. I'm not really following. Maybe this will explain it. Oh, Derek can help with, you know, the whole thing here. So that is why we have to talk to him. Okay, this is getting interesting. I've been worried sick about Anne ever since she went missing. If you're trying to help her, I want in. I'm sorry, young man. Our mission is dangerous and of greatest secrecy. I must ask you to trust us that everything possible is done to rescue your friend. Look, I know there's more going on in Jorvik than just farming and horses. I saw the pink cracks in the earth, and I know about Anne and her horse. I photographed them. I saw Concord's true form with wings of light. We never talked about her other life, but we bonded over that secret. And Bonnie invited him to the team. That's great. Evergrey is a bit wary about him. I don't really know why, but, you know, he has a good heart, just like he says. Ride to the Everwind Fields with Evergrey to meet his friend. His friend? Okay. Oh, it is Nick with the balloon over here. Hi, Nick Stoneground. How are ya? I haven't seen him in a while because I never go to Dino Valley. Evergrey and Isabella, two of my favorite people. How can I help? We need to live to Dino Valley. Room for two more. So we're going to Dino Valley with Evergrey. Okay, really interesting. My horse is neighing and then he says, make that three. My apologies, Apple boy. How could you forget my precious horse? I'm just joking, of course. Let's head off to Dino Valley and see what's going on there. Oh, we're going to the Stone Gutters Vault. That is really exciting. I haven't been there in like two years or something. At least it feels like two years. It's probably like a year, but it feels like two years. So we're gonna get supplies and head on to the Stone Cutters Vault. So why did I bring you here? I may have 
borrowed a keystone from the secret stone circle to another druid portal in Epona. Don't worry, no one will miss it and we'll return it when we're done. Wink. I'll stay here and see if I can get the portal to Epona working again. You ride ahead to the stonecutter's vault and pick up the Pandora keystone from Conrad. Divide and conquer, Isabella. That is a quote from Caesar! That's like a literal quote from Caesar. That's so cool because I study Latin and I know all about this and it's so cool that they put this in here. Ride to the Stonecutter's Vault and rendezvous with Conrad. Eh oui, je peux parler le français. I've studied French for over six years and I just love pronouncing these French words in a French way. The keystone is almost ready but we've hit a snag. Come inside where it's warm and I'll tell you more. Meet me in the rear chamber where I've set up my workshop. So let's go into the Stonecutter's Vault and and take a look what's going on inside. I really forgot how beautiful and enchanting this place is. Look at how pretty. This room right here, that tree specifically is also so beautiful. I will put the video in which I explore this place for the first time in the upper right corner if you want to watch it. But first, let's talk to Conrad. I've failed you, Isabella. It seems that this is a smithing task beyond even me. Isabella, I asked for the greatest druid smith. This Conrad Marston, <laughs> he spelled his name wrong or like said it wrong, has all the finesse of an ox. Here he goes again. In the days of John Jarl, in the days of John Jarl, we were held to much higher standards. What you're saying, Magnus, is impossible. Maybe if I had four arms, uh oh, this is gonna be a fight. I already know it. Or it isn't. He said, that's it, Isabella, you can be my extra arms. Together, we can complete the keystone. That's a great idea. Follow Conrad's instructions to help complete the keystone. We're gonna complete the keystone, you guys. Oh my god, how exciting. Follow my instructions. As always, okay, we need to carefully remove the keystone from the barrel. Then we have to put it on here. And we're hitting it with a hammer. That's interesting. Put it back in the barrel. We're gonna do that. It's overheating. We have to add a few drops of squash ice and thistle. Take this. Good work, Isabella. Now grab the keystone. The ruins must be precise. Use the hammer to chisel the keystone. Th to chisel or to chisel? I don't know how to say this. I don't have any time to search it up right now, so you're going to have to deal with what I just said. Um, now back into the barrel with it so the ruins can temper. Here, take this bottle. Be careful not to drop it. What do we have to do with the bottle? Add two drops from the bottle. It will infuse the runes with Pandoric energy. Oh, is this Pandoric energy or what is this? I can't drop it into the barrel. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's almost done. Bring it out carefully. And by Garnock, don't touch the liquid. I won't touch the liquid. I'll probably die. <laughs> One last strike with the hammer to activate the ruins. Okay, we have to strike it again with the hammer and then I guess we're done. I can't look. Is it a perfect keystone? I could not have done better myself. Such flawless hammer strikes. Conrad unsold your potential, Isabella. Send your horse back to the stable and stay with me here in the Stonecutter's vault. Become my apprentice. Remember why we came to you in the first place, Magnus. Isabella and the other soul riders. Oh, it was too quickly to click. Yes, of course. May Aideen's light guide you to victory. Thank you so, so much. We're going to save Anne, you guys. Our work is done. Now we only need to wait for the keystone to temper and cool. Oh, was that it? Were the, those were the new story quests, you guys. Those were the story quests for today. I do have to mention that this chapter of our thrilling storyline, Star Stable says, with the Soul Riders will be released in three parts. So this is the first part, and they also said the next part will be out in just a couple of weeks, which I think might be two, three, or maybe even four weeks. So it's not that long of a wait. I'm gonna return to the Secret Stone Circle for a minute to see if I can see Lisa and oh, what's her name again? Linda, of course, on their horses Meteor and Starshine because I'm really curious to that. And nope, we can't. Well, I do have two pictures of their new tack. I believe Meteor has a new sort of girth and then Starshine has a Hackamore Bazal. Here you have two pictures of the tack on both horses. I really like it, to be honest. I really hope we can take a closer look in the upcoming part of this three-part series. Anyways, this is the end of today's video, you guys, and honestly, I really enjoyed it. 
even though we didn't get to go to Pandoria again or save Anne or anything, I still think this was a cool part of the story quests. It was very nice to see the new Soul Riders and their new horses. I loved seeing Ryan on back and Nick Stoneground and going back to the Stonecutter's Vault, so yeah, I did really enjoy today's story quests. I have faith that the next two parts are gonna be just as amazing, or maybe even better, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And lastly, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This video is a little longer than usual, but I still hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos of mine, then please subscribe down below, and also turn on your notifications to never, ever, ever, ever miss out. I have a very exciting video going up on Saturday, and it's not exactly Star Sable, but it does have to do with that, and it's gonna be so amazing. So make sure you check back on Saturday, you guys. So yeah, I hope I'll see you then, and for now, Bye, guys.